So I recently downloaded and played around with the new Nostra app Damon to see what all the hype was about. Now Nostra is promoted as a decentralized social network. So it's like a decentralized Twitter or like a decentralized Instagram. And what really caught my attention was hearing that the famous Jack Dorsey was attached to the project. And we all know him. I mean, he's the man who was co-founder and once CEO of Twitter. So. If Jack Dorsey has an idea for a new social network, I mean, I'm interested, right? I mean, that would be like if Sergey Brin had a new concept for Google or if the Colonel created a new recipe for that delicious chicken of his. I mean, I don't have to be first in line, but I definitely want to get a taste, right? Am I right? And so I went down the rabbit hole to learn more about Noster and its Damus app so I could tell you all about it and let you know if it's worth your time or if you're better off just sticking to the original recipe. If you find any value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much and let's jump in. So I'm super excited to open up this app and show you what I found. But first, I wanna take a quick second and talk a little bit about what Noster and what Damus actually is. And don't worry, I'm not gonna make this overly technical, but I do wanna highlight how Noster is different from other social media experiences that currently exist. You see, when social media was first born, it was very harmless and innocent. I mean, even the platforms that have survived since that time, like Facebook and like Twitter were originally created to just connect young adults online in a fun and unique way. I don't think anybody foresaw that these platforms would eventually like influence political campaigns and become our main source of news around the world and allow user generated content to compete and even beat out events like the Super Bowl. So with billions of people using these platforms on a daily basis worldwide, I mean, social media companies have a tremendous amount of power and that power is left in the hands of just a select few. And because they own the platform and own your profile and even own the content you add to the platform, then they can decide to do things like make money through ads on all of your daily posts. Um, they can decide to create an environment that is more addicting than cocaine to keep you coming back for more day in and day out. And they can decide who has a voice on that platform and who ultimately gets silence. And so Noster was created to flip the social media world upside down and remove all the power that these giant tech companies have over this territory. Noster is social media, but it is decentralized social media, which means that there's no single person or a single small group in control of the platform. In fact, there is no platform. Noster is served through a protocol, which is super techy to understand, but think of it like this. Platforms are privately owned and the owner makes all the decisions, whereas with a protocol, it is open and available for anyone to use. And so, I mean, this is really, really interesting because Noster is also not a company. They don't have a board of directors or a CEO calling the shots. And so in its design, Noster does not have the power or control to make decisions that could affect billions of people. Basically, you can't get banned or even shadow banned or even have your content suppressed from Noster because there's no one to do so. And look, don't get me wrong. I mean, I am fully, fully against hate speech and derogatory comments and disinformation online. I mean, if someone is talking crazy on social media, in my opinion, they should get kicked off the platform. But in a world of free speech, I mean, why should my opinion even matter? I mean, what human is unbiased enough to be in charge of censorship? I don't know. I really don't know. But through Noster, we don't even have to answer that question. So the first use case for Noster is the Damus app. And basically, Damus is built on top of Noster so that you can use the Noster technology. Now, Damus is only available for Apple phones. So if you have an Android, you will need to use the sister app, Amethyst. So getting Damus was super simple. I mean, I just downloaded from the app store, right? Next, I was prompted to create an account. Um, it's kind of interesting because the first step is to accept a user agreement, 
which doesn't feel very decentralized to me, but I guess the app has to get into the app store somehow, right? Only makes sense. Anyways, next I was prompted to create my profile and it was here the app began to feel like a Web3 experience. I mean, the only required information was a username. I mean, I didn't have to enter my full name or my email address or give it my phone number or my mother's maiden name. I mean, basically, I was issued an account ID to identify me and that's it. And you know what? This is possible through cryptographic key pairing, which again is very technical, but to sum it up, it's a way of authenticating a user. And in my opinion, it is way more effective than pulling in detailed profile information. So the app looks and feels a lot like Twitter. I mean, on the home screen, I have access to a feed with posts from the people I follow. Uh, currently, I'm only following Damus. In the bottom right corner, there's a plus icon that launches the post editor. It looks like at this time I can add text-based posts and images and maybe GIFs. Uh, there is a DMs tab. Of course, that is empty because I am new to the app. Um, and there is a global tab, which allows me to see posts from others, even though I'm not following them. And here I am just mostly seeing like posts in other languages. And they also seem to be like kind of spammy. So I probably won't spend much time there. And the last tab is the notification tab. And wow, I mean, look at this. I just posted a few minutes ago and already have two people who have reached out. Super cool. I mean, that's awesome. I don't know who these heroes are, but BTC Warrior and Seto8, I appreciate it. It's always hard being the new person in a social setting, and so having someone be welcoming almost immediately really helps in feeling comfortable in a surrounding. So um, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, so if you click the icon in the upper left-hand corner, you will see a menu with more options. First being your profile, and it is here where you can update items like your banner and your profile thumbnail. You also see your public key that you can copy and give out. Um, your public key is like your address and people can use it to find you. And just like Twitter, you can see your followers and who is following you. Now, if you go back to that menu, you will see a blocked section. And as the name implies, this is the list of users that you have blocked. Um, I haven't blocked anyone at this point, so my section is empty. Next is the Relays tab. And for most users who are just starting out, you'll probably never need to visit this tab. But to shed a little light on why it's there, let me tell you a little bit about what Relays are. And again, this is a little technical, so I'm gonna tell you the simplified version. Uh, Noster uses relays to send information back and forth. So instead of having like a traditional server to house a platform, Noster leans on relays as the backbone of its infrastructure. Now, anybody can become a relay. And so if you're tech savvy and want to support the community, or if you want to support your own community, then you can run your own relay. Now the relay section shows all of your current relays and in the upper right corner, you can see a plus icon that will allow you to add new relays. The idea here is that if a relay gets stale or if you find a relay provider that you want to align with, you can add them through this section. Now, if we go back to that menu, the last option is the settings area. I mean, here you can see your public key and your private key. And again, um, your public key is available to give out to anyone. Your private key, you need to keep safe. And you basically only need this in the case you lose your phone and need to restore your account on a new device. Now, there are some other available options in the settings menu, like um, an account delete button and a left-handed option. And there's also an area where you can select a default Bitcoin wallet. And that brings me to one other cool thing you can do with this app. Damus supports Bitcoin tipping. And this is like a super cool feature because if you are a creator and you spend time cultivating a post that is relevant and valuable to your audience through the app, the community can, you know, show you some love by sending you some Bitcoin, which is really cool and a nice way of saying thank you. But 
The tipping is done through Bitcoin's Lightning Network, which is Bitcoin's super fast payment processing network. And so in the options menu, you will see a list of various available wallets that you can choose as your default wallet. So for example, if you have a Strike wallet, then choose Strike in the list. Easy. But to set up that tipping option, go back to that side menu and select your profile again. And then tap the edit button. Again, here you can edit your account info, like your username or your profile pic, but there's a section where you can add your Bitcoin Lightning address. And once that's added, you're all set up to start stacking sats from your audience. So overall, I mean, this is a cool app. I mean, I like the design and I like the fact that it's almost like a Twitter clone. I mean, I use Twitter like daily. So navigating this app is super simple and there was like no learning curve whatsoever. I'm also super fascinated that this app is decentralized. I believe that we need to see more technology created in this way. And so I feel that Damus is a step in the right direction for Web3. And I like the idea that you can receive tips through Damus. I mean, I know you can already do that through Twitter, but I still believe that tipping is an important option to have. And so it's good to see that it's available at this time. And I know the app is very young at this time, but my only critique is in the global section. I mean, I use this app for about a week, playing around with it and checking it daily, and that section seems to be just a spam playground. I mean, many, many of the posts are in different languages, and the ones I could read were pushing something, I don't know. So for now, I'm gonna just stay away from that section altogether. However, hopefully, that section will evolve into something worthwhile over time, hopefully. But let me know your thoughts. I mean, what do you think about the new Nostra app, Damus? Please let me know in the comments. Also, what are your thoughts on decentralized technology? Please also let me know in the comments. And lastly, I wanna thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable to me, so I do hope you found value. And until next time, 